All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've been uploading videos, but a lot's been going on. Um, before we get started, my Instagram, it's Bailey Pets. It'll be on the screen. Um, today's gonna be an update on all my pets. Um, everybody been doing very well. I know today I'm supposed to get uh, new enclosures for Titan and Kaiba, which is my leopard gecko and bearded dragon. So I'll make a video on, on that, on how I set their enclosures up. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, but let's get started. So let's uh, take a little tour and show you everybody. All right, so we have the one and only Grizz, the superstar of the whole channel, pretty much. Um, he's been doing very well. Um, but I'm, I can't wait to really upgrade his enclosure. Um, I was looking at maybe a few ponds that I'm gonna uh, start adding. I'm gonna probably go to Home Depot and just start uh, upgrading his enclosure. Um, it's been it's been a lot going on, so I just need to make time for it. So I know he's he's excited. He can't wait to come out right now. But say hello, Grizz, superstar of the channel. Uh, I'm probably gonna feed him in a little bit too. So. Uh, you guys would get to see that. Um, I feed him about every uh, other day. So I fed him, uh, well I did feed him actually yesterday, but I fed him some shrimp. But today I'll see if he wants some fish today. So let me see an update on everybody else. All right, Grizz. You'll, you'll get some food in a little bit. All right, so Titan. Uh, he's been kind of in, in his um, own little zone. I know around, around this time of the year, uh, bitter dragons, they go into, um, it's like a type of uh, hibernation. I forgot what the exact uh, word is called, but you know, they're, they start to eat less. Um, but overall, he's super healthy still. Um, but I can't wait until I redo his enclosure. It's gonna be a lot bigger than this. Um, you know, I've been, just wanting to give him a bigger enclosure. It's just uh, time-wise, especially a lot going on around the world, but we're gonna make it happen. So Titan will have a bigger cage. All right, so that was a little cool uh, position that Grizz was in. So I decided to just film him. Um, but let me move you on to Kaiba, my leopard gecko. So he's inside there just picking up some heat but i know i can't wait to uh fix up uh, his enclosure because i know he's been really needing um, a huge enclosure i got him when he was a baby and i put him inside of, of here uh temporarily but i never got a chance to actually get my big enclosure so that's gonna happen hopefully today but he is super healthy um and also really chill. And I take them out a lot and I give all my uh, reptiles plenty of love and exercise. So uh, yeah, but this is gonna change you guys. So just bear with me, everything's gonna change. All right, so some special news with my ball python. So but last week I attempted to breed my male with my female albino. So hopefully um, later on I get some baby albino ball pythons but i'll show you a video on um and i did film them together and they have some really nice locks so i'm hoping um that she will start ovulating soon but uh other than that um super excited about that um i know raikus has been doing very well <laughs> Um, I am not going to breed him because of his gene. I know it's a beautiful, beautiful snake, but I just don't want to risk the babies having to deform. Um, but all my other snakes have been doing very well. Um, around this time of the year, you know, they do go off feed because of the temperatures, but they still are very healthy. Um, and lastly, I will show you my other ball python which is my other female, but she's a lot younger. So let me show you her now. All right, so Snow is a really beautiful snake. Uh, she has really grown really fast. Um, I can't really wait until I start bringing her. Uh, I know I know that's gonna take a while, but overall, she's a really beautiful snake. Um, she came a long way too. At first she was very, um, you know, skittish, but now she's really starting to build some trust and 
Uh, she's getting a lot more comfortable, but she's a really beautiful snake. Look at her, her pattern. All right, let's put her back. All right, so I usually keep Grizz's uh, food um, in the freezer. And typically what I normally keep, I mean, I keep a, a variety of things, but today I only have um, some shrimp and also have his fish. Um, I'm going to try to see if he does want to fish right now. The um, type of fish I get is, I'll show you. It's a yellow striped fish um, and they're whole, but obviously if your now monitor is not big enough to um, eat them whole, they, have, they do have um, smaller whole fish if you want to start feeding them whole fish or you can just cut it up. Um, but yeah, definitely start going to the Asian market for all your stuff, especially if you do have a now monitor or just a now monitor in general, it takes you a whole lot more money. Surprisingly, I feel like I spend less money on Grizz than I do on my ball pythons and my other uh, lizards, only because I just buy everything in bulk and just freeze them. And then whenever I want to feed Grizz, I just defrost it and then just feed it to him. And it saves me a whole lot more money. All right, so let's go ahead and defrost it and feed it to Grizz, or right, to see if he even wants it. All right, Grizzy, you hungry? I, I know uh, I have this type of sound, so that way he knows that it's feeding time. Um, I do hand feed him, um, but overall I just built that trust with him and I know that he'll be fine. Watch this, you guys. Ready, come in and you do it. Right there, there you go. All right, so we'll let him uh, eat. That was, um, that's pretty nice. But one thing I don't like is the mess that he makes, you guys. Um, with certain foods, it's less messy. But I mean, for those who do have now monitors, you guys know he gets cleaned up pretty often. Um, but there you go. So we'll let him enjoy that. All right, so lastly, we have the bunnies. We have Caramel and Lily. Um, wonderful bunnies. I uh, had Lily for a, a lot longer than I did have Caramel. Caramel is a lot bigger now. Uh, both of them have put their winter coat on right now. It's been raining a little bit where I live at. So we do have a um, a, a tarp over their hutch uh, so rain won't fall underneath them. But they're pretty well adaptive to the weather. So let's go feed them some raspberries so we could move on. All right, you guys. Come on. Take a raspberry. That's one for you. Come on, camera. Come on. Ah, uh, camera don't really like raspberries. Lily loves raspberries. I don't know why. Camera's like a little, she's like really picky, but Lily will eat anything. Right, Lily? Camera's like, uh, yeah, not me. Ah, uh, that's it, that's it, Lily. All right, but they have been doing very well, you guys. You guys see them, they're very nice and healthy. Um, I do have to make a video on how I bond them together. Um, it took a while, to be honest with you, but eventually we did it. There, there are some moments where they will um, posture up to one another, but uh, other than that, um, they bond pretty well. All right, so that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as you see, everybody's doing very well. Um, and then I'll make a video and keep you guys uh, also updated on the new enclosures I'll get for Tide and Kaiba. Um, and then I can't wait till I start rebuilding everything, which will look really nice. Um, but if you guys really like these type of videos, uh, definitely just let me know, leave in the comments. Um, and if you guys have any other recommendations, definitely let me know. Um, I know some of you guys have been wanting me to do um, blogs. But if you guys really want to start seeing that, uh, definitely just continue to let me know so that way I can start working on that also. But you guys have a wonderful day and you guys stay safe out there. Take care. Bye.